Hi everybody, so we're going to start with uh, placing some light fixtures in our model and go from there on teaching you how to edit your light fixture schedule so that you'll be able to then put images in, edit the schedule, uh, make it look all nice and pretty and how you like. So without further ado, I'm going to put some light fixtures in here and uh, let's get started. Just place them in the model so we have something to work with. So I'll create them all here. And we'll just open the ceiling plan and we'll put in a bunch of light fixtures. So there's one, there's two. Oops. There's three and four. So then we're going to create our oops, create our fixture schedule. So we get a view, schedules, schedule quantities. Scroll down to light fixtures. And we're going to add in the things that we want to see within our schedule. So this will be like uh, type mark, type, since we don't know which one we'll have um, parameters associated with them. So we'll do type, type mark, we want our image, so we want our image up front, which is a big reason everybody came here today. So then we look at manufacturers. Some of this, you might have model in there, but um, that's a different piece. So mounting, uh, lamp, that's another piece we can look at. So really for LEDs, which is pretty ubiquitous now, but if you have something else, uh, you can put it in there. So lamp, uh, lumens, Color temperature, which is initial color temperature in here. We want um, wattage, but sometimes this is also known as apparent load. And we want voltage. So we'll add that as well as a description. So these are the basic things for our fixture schedule. So we'll go ahead and add those in, create our fixture schedule. Here you can see type image doesn't have anything and we can't do anything with it. So we'll show you how to fix that. And then type mark, that doesn't have anything associated with it either. So we'll go back here to fields, edit, type mark, and we're gonna remove it from our list, and now it'll update. So if we also wanna make our light fixture schedule uh, read cap, so we'll just edit it that way. Really we need to see this on a sheet, so We'll, uh, we'll create a new sheet here, and we'll throw our fixture schedule onto the sheet. So again, our fixture schedule is not always going to come in perfect, so we can adjust it here using these tabs to get the width of our columns the way we want them. So pretty easy to adjust and adapt there. Now if we want to look at kind of the layout of the fixture schedule, again, you can just come in here and we can say type say fixture image you know, make this capitalize two edit some of these just say LED since basically everything is solid state so go through that um, and then we need to edit these types so based on your parameters <clears throat> you'll have different types so for us um, we're reading the type of the fixture, so we'll just say this is like LD1. Go ahead and save that, and this is uh, LS1 for square. So we'll go ahead and save that. Now that our fixture schedule, these are updated. So fixture images, the big reason why we're here today. So we need to add effectively a parameter that allows images to be brought in. So we're going to go to Edit Family and up here to family types we're going to come down here to new parameter we'll just say image it's a family parameter called image it's common discipline um, if we use these others it's specific to that discipline so we want to say common um, and then it's going to be an image graphics so that's all great okay load this into our project we'll overwrite the parameters now 
we can come back to our light fixture schedule, hit edit, come down here to image, and we want to add it here at the top. So we'll hit OK. And now what we have is the three little dots. So you can see those here. You can see the three little dots. So we can click on that. And it brings up this menu where we can now add images. So we'll add an image. Oops. So go here, models, families, pictures, and then I can add in all of these pictures. So from there, now we can pick something. So for a troffer, we can pick one. Um, you know, these aren't going to be all correct, but we can add different pictures um, to each of these to give you a good idea of what it is. And I just pulled these off the catalog of the manufacturer that I looked at. So pretty simple to, to bring in. And since we know that this fixture image doesn't work, we can remove that type image. So go ahead and hit OK. Oh, uh, while we're in here, so let's say that we want we want type to be uh, centered, images to be centered, mounting to be, let's just say right aligned, just to show you what we can do here, manufacturers to be uh, right aligned. It's gonna look goofy, I know, uh, but just to give you an idea of um, the things you can do to, you know, kind of change the look and feel of uh, your schedules. So we'll just come back here to formatting. We'll make all of these now centered so they look good. So we'll just go down the list here, make everything centered. Pretty easy, straightforward. So make it all, and then we'll leave description left line. So that should look, look a lot better. There we go. So pretty clean schedule, and now we have images complete uh, in our schedules that is on a sheet. So what you're seeing here is just the file name of those um, fixtures of the JPEGs or PNGs or whatever. So you'll see that here, but on your fixture schedule, you'll actually see the images. So that's how to put together a fixture schedule with images. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, thank you for joining.